as of right now, as far as the fight goes between Sean Porter and Errol Spence, Sean Porter is winning the outside fight. Sean Porter has the mental advantage over Errol Spence. And I'm going to break this down and tell you how this is so and how this affects everything in the fight, what Sean has done to Errol Spence. Number one, there is no pressure for Sean Porter to beat Errol Spence. None whatsoever. There's no expectations. There's no nothing. Okay. There is no pressure for Sean Porter to knock out Errol Spence. None whatsoever. In a nutshell, nobody is expecting Sean Porter to win the fight. With that being said, at this point in time, Sean Porter has all the mental advantages. Sean Porter is winning the mental warfare. How, you would say. Sean Porter is winning because he got Errol Spence to say something that he is not sure that he can do. Okay? And this is how Sean did it. When they did their face-to-face... And Sean jumped on him and brought up the fact that you said you wasn't trying to knock out Mikey Garcia. Then you turned around and said you were trying to knock out Mikey Garcia. You know what I'm saying? So which one is it? You was either trying to knock him out or not knock him out. One second you tell me you want to knock him out. Now you're sitting up here telling me you wasn't trying to knock him out. That question right there is what angered Errol Spence to the point because he didn't have a response for what Sean Porter said. He didn't have a response for it. He just had to up the ante and say, well, well, but I'm going to knock you out, though. That was actually Errol Spence's response to what Sean Porter asked him. He said, how are you going to say that you wasn't trying to get a knockout When you were on my show and you said you was trying to get a knockout. Now you back here again saying you're not trying to get a knockout. Earl Spence didn't have a reply for that. He like, well, 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 I'm going to knock you out, though. Okay, so he got so pissed that Sean Porter exposed him. He got Earl Spence to say something that he knew he did not want to have the pressure on his shoulder. But he was so angry that he said it. Okay, not only. Does Earl Spence have to win, but he just cannot win no regular old way. He has to win by a stoppage or a knockout, or it is a failure by everybody else. And not only that, by his own words and standards. You said you wanted to knock him out cold. Okay, cold. Because Sean Porter put that question on you. You said something that you know that you didn't want to have to have the responsibility of doing. But since Sean pushed the right buttons, he made you say something that you did not want to say. Now you have to get a knockout. It bet not go 12 rounds. Okay, you have to win and you have to win in a certain fashion. The only thing Sean Porter got to do is show up. The only thing people expecting him to do is show up. Okay? That's why he smiles. He knows it. There's no pressure on Sean Porter whatsoever. He knows it. You know? And Sean Porter is the reason why Errol Spence has committed. And now people are going to hold him for this so-called calculated knockout, okay? Because you called Sean Porter easy, okay? You called him easy. That's number one. That's what Earl Spence did to his own self by calling him easy. Why don't I go the easy route and knock Sean Porter out, okay? Then he said himself, I'm going to knock you out cold at that. Let me tell you why what Sean did is so effective. Because number one, if Errol Spence goes into this fight 
okay, trying to be desperate because he know he has to win in a certain fashion. Sean Porter will beat him. He will beat him. Anytime you do something, and he's going to be desperate because nobody's going to want that boxing thing. Yes, you're going to box, but at the end, you're going to actually have to do what you do. So it's a lose-lose. You're going to have to take a risk of rushing and trying to knock Sean Porter out, which could get you knocked out. Because if you don't, if you win 12 rounds, you know what people are going to say about you. You know what I'm saying? Once you fought somebody who's up, that's legitimately in your weight class, you couldn't do nothing with him. Just like you couldn't do nothing with Mikey Garcia. That Mikey Garcia, in the end, yeah, it got you paid. To me, I don't see how it really didn't help your resume. The only thing it did was put pressure on you because you didn't knock him out. So in all actuality, the Mikey Garcia fight hurt him more than it actually helped him. It hurt him because you didn't knock out the little guy. You didn't knock out the little guy coming up two weight classes and you're in a weight classes, which everybody knows that you're too big for. So truthfully, in a nutshell, Mikey Garcia basically fought a guy and came up three weight classes instead of two. Because we all know that you're bullying in this division. We all know, truthfully, you know what I'm saying? You don't belong in this division. But I'm going to digress on that. But now Sean Porter has put the playing field out there to where whatever you do, you're going to have to do exactly what you said you're going to do or it's going to be viewed as a failure. And that was put on through him because Sean Porter put the hot plate to him and let him know that he knows that you wanted to knock out with Mikey Garcia, but you couldn't do it. You're trying to lie to everybody else, but you can't lie to me because what you said on your show and what you're trying to say, say here right now is a total contradiction. That's why you got mad and say you're going to knock me out because I put you out there to the world. So therefore, you can't go through and box all rounds and think you're going to get credit for it. Now you're going to have to do what you wish you would have did to Mikey Garcia to a tougher opponent that's going to be harder to knock out who's never been knocked out. And not only that, this is why it's more dangerous for Errol Spence. Sean Porter has been in with Errol Spence before. And I don't mean sparring. He's been in the ring with the Earl Spence's. He's been in with people who hit hard. He's been in with people who move better than him. He's been in there with people who box better than him. He's been in there with all those kind of people. This is not a new show for Showtime Sean Porter. But this is new territory for Errol Spence. New territory where pressure is applied, where you have to have a spectacular showing. If you do not, everything you have built up up until now will be totally destroyed. And you know, as far as the YouTube boxer community, going to jump on your head. So that's going to cause you to have to fight a little bit off square and out of the box because even if you're doing good that fight can't end going 12 rounds it doesn't look good it has to be a stoppage or a knockout and that pressure was put on Earl Spence by Sean Porter simply exposing that you tried to knock out Mikey Garcia but you couldn't do it and because Earl Spence didn't have an answer it forced him to say that he was going to knock out Sean Porter. Now he actually has to deliver because this is the easy work. Bet not struggle with the easy work. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Vane, I'm out.